Okay, here we have a question on algebra, ratio, and area. Um, it's a further maths GCSE question. It's towards the end of the exam paper, so it's again starting to get a bit tricky now. It's the level two qualification. Okay, so we're given um, some information about a square whose sides are 4x and that, that E is the midpoint of BC. So that tells us this is 2x and this is 2x. And F is along DC in the ratio that this is 1 to 3. So this is going to be x and this is going to be 3x. And we know this is 4x as well. Now we're, we're given that the area of the triangle E A AEF, so this bit is kx squared, and we want to find this value of k. So, uh, with this sort of question, um, hopefully you can see that if we take away these triangles around the outside of the triangle we want, away from the square, then we will get the area that's left. So the area of the square is going to be 4x all squared, which is 16x squared. Okay, and then if I label these triangles up, let's label this up as triangle A. This one is B, and this one is C. So triangle A is going to be equal to 4x times x divided by 2, which is going to be 4x squared over 2, which is 2x squared. Triangle B is going to be 4x times 2x all over 2, which is going to be 8x squared over 2, which is 4x squared. Now, um, I didn't mention this, but the reason why I'm doing the triangles is because they're relatively easy to work out because they're all right angle triangles because these corners are the squares. Just to work out the area, we just need the height times the base divided by 2, which is quite easy to do with the right angle triangle. And triangle C, we have 3x times 2x all over 2. So that's going to be a half of three, uh, 6x squared, which is 3x squared. So the total of our triangles is going to be 2x plus 4x, which is 6, plus 3, which is 9. So 9x squared. Therefore, um, kx squared is going to be equal to 16x squared minus 9x squared, which is going to be... 7x squared, therefore k equals 7. So for this question, you'll get a mark if you just worked out the area of the whole square. So if you see 16x squared, that's going to get you a mark. Then if you do any um, any two of these three calculations, I think, um, actually you get one method mark for doing one of these one of these uh, areas. Um, if you do all three, you get two method marks. And then showing that you've got to do the subtraction gives you another method mark, and then the answer mark is 7.